Hello, and welcome to TerminalBeats.com. Today, I'm going to be showing you five essential tips for how to set up a Twitter account as a hip-hop artist. So stay tuned. First step is to ensure that you have a unique stage name that will be easy to remember and will rank you at the top of searches that include your name. This should be a name that will be available as both a username and as your real name on Twitter. So, for example, my producer name is Terminal Beats. It's easy to remember, it's easy to spell, and I rank number one on any search that includes my name, and this is because I'm the original Terminal Beats, and it's a unique name that separates me from other producers. So something to avoid when creating your stage name is adding something like Lil or Young to your name. I've seen way too many artists trying to use this in their name. It'll only make you seem unoriginal, and it'll make you have a very hard time ranking in searches. So just make sure that you sit down and come up with a unique name for yourself, and don't just use those websites that offer you random rapper names. The second step is to add an email where anyone can professionally get in contact with you, or to a manager depending on where you're at in your career. This will be an email where producers, graphic artists, and other performers can get in contact with you. The third step is to create a booking email or a phone number uh, where people can get in contact with you and book you for shows. Uh, you can just type something like booking uh, and just put this, this dash here um, or this colon and I would recommend making this an email that or a phone number that goes directly to a manager or to a professional email that you own or that you manage um, that represents you directly or, or your label. Um, no one's going to book you for a show or a feature if they can't even get in contact with you. So this is really important that you do it properly. Step number four is really all about making sure that people know exactly that you are an artist right off the bat. Um, this artist here says right out that he's an artist and you can also tell from the profile picture that he is an artist. You can tell that this is an album cover or something like that. Uh, it's professionally done, professionally edited, very professional. Um, and what you want to do is just have something that shows you or an album or a mixtape cover or something like that just so that everybody knows that this is your career and that you want to be taken seriously. Um, and like I said, you want to just have something in your uh, bio that says that you're an artist or a rapper or singer or whatever you want to go by. Um, this is something that I see so many rappers fail to do uh, just because they assume that people know that they are a rapper or whatever. Um, and personally, as a producer, I think it looks much more professional when you have something that states right off the bat that you're an artist or a rapper or something like that. So it's time for the fifth and most important tip of this entire video. Do not spam. That is the most important tip for using Twitter, and it's probably the most wrongly used part of Twitter, is spamming. It's really easy to tweet and to send out messages, and people use that in horrible ways to go spam their music, and it ends up making them look horrible to the public. Uh, sending your music to everyone on Earth will not get you anywhere, and yes, I really mean that. If you go out and send 50 tweets a day that has, has a generic message that's just asking for things from people uh, without you giving them anything, such as go blast my new song, link in bio, it will only be a waste of your time and it will also ruin your reputation and clog up your Twitter profile. Unless if somebody directly asked you for you to send them a link to your music, do not send them it. That is spam. They never asked for it, and now you're becoming a nuisance to them. If you want to know how to get people to listen to your music and create true fans, subscribe to our channel and keep an eye out for our videos that teach you exactly how to promote your music. So everyone, these are the five most essential tips for artists from my experience. If you could subscribe to our channel and like this video, it would be truly appreciated. Feel free to post any other questions that you would like us to answer or any videos that we would like that you would like us to make in the future. Uh, thank you for watching and as always, God bless you.